So you want to take the new application control software blade from Checkpoint for a spin. Go ahead and download the DVD. You can even try it in a new environment. We've got this neat little feature called connecting to a mirror port, which allows you to try it in a production environment with seeing the traffic, but without actually interfering. In your gateway object, just go ahead and check the option for the application control blade. You're going to also want to take a look at a new option called uh, identity awareness. And this basically allows the firewall to understand who is in your environment. A wizard will guide you through the setup, either using Active Directory, a captive portal, or potentially both. After verifying the Active Directory information, you are pretty much ready to go, including user awareness. Keep in mind, application control doesn't immediately imply access. You have to have a policy that allows it. For the purposes of testing here, I have a very open policy. Now we jump to the Application tab, and we go ahead and start building our policy. This policy is really just going to be to see what's out there in our environment. I'm going to pick a specific host, although I could leave it as any. I'm going to allow them to use any recognized applications, go anywhere they want, and we're just going to log that information. Install policy and we're ready to go. Now when we take a look in the log bureau, we'll see new entries specific to the application control blade. In this case, the application control blade is actually identifying itself, accessing the internet for its own updates. We can also see the user that it's running as. However, long term, looking at logs isn't very effective. There's a better tool for it called Smart Event Intro. Smart Event Intro has some default views so you can take a look at your application control and activity. However, it's most powerful when you customize it for the specific things you're looking for. This is a default look at all the activity inside the environment, but what if there's specific things you want to monitor? In the default events view, let's take a look at the all applications and save it as a new query. Let's call this new view Kids because I'm going to use it to watch what my kids do on the internet. Once the new view is saved, edit the properties so we can customize it for specifically watching the kids. Building your property query is just like using the log viewer. I'm going to select the source and choose only the objects that represent the machines my kids are on and filter based on just that criteria. This allows me to see all applications used by just the kids. You can filter on any combination of objects or destinations or sources or applications that you may be interested in. You even have the option of following up based on a user. Now back on our overview page, we can add a line, which will be our new custom view. Select my time resolution and now I have a way to monitor the kids. And what happens if I notice someone using something perhaps I don't like? Perhaps maybe a little tool like Tor used to anonymize and hide what people are actually up to? Well, I go back to my application control rule base. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new rule on the top. Specifying the Tor application. And I'm going to go ahead and leave that to be blocked. Let's push our new policy in. And now back on the user's machine, they're having a little bit of problem with their Tor connection. And if we take a quick peek at our logs, we can see the users are being blocked now trying to use Tor. And that should get you going with application control. Happy hunting. You never know what you might find out there.